Hey everyone, this is Daily Dose of Medicine. Let's talk about Gittelman syndrome. It's a rare inherited disorder affecting the kidney's ability to reabsorb certain electrolytes, particularly sodium, potassium, magnesium, and chloride. It is inherited autosomal recessive fashion mutations in SLC1283 gene, which affects the ability of kidneys to regulate the balance of salts and electrolytes causing this disorder. Impaired sodium and chloride reabsorption in the distal convoluted tubule of the kidneys results in excessive urinary losses of sodium, chloride, and potassium, along with compensatory increases in renin and aldosterone levels, which in the end leads to low levels of potassium hypokalemia, low levels of magnesium hypomagnesemia, hypocalciuria, decreased urine calcium, and metabolic alkalosis. Clinical symptoms are muscle cramps, muscle cramps, weakness, fatigue due to electrolyte imbalances, tetany, which is involuntary muscle contractions, especially in low levels of calcium, low levels of magnesium is present, salt craving. Some patients may experience cardiac arrhythmias, especially in case when they have low levels of potassium, mild low blood pressure. For diagnosis, serum electrolytes panels showing low potassium, low magnesium, and metabolic alkalosis. Urine tests showing high urinary excretion of sodium chloride and potassium with low calcium and urine hypocalciuria. And genetic testing to confirm mutations in SLC1283 gene. Differentials, we have Barter syndrome, similar syndrome involving the tick ascending lip of the lupofemini rather than distal convoluted tubule affects the Gittelman syndrome and typically present with hypercalciuria instead of low calciums in the urine. Laxative or diuretic abuse can mimic the electrolyte disturbance seen in Gittelman syndrome. First-line therapy is supplementation with generous doses of salt tablets, potassium chloride, and when magnesium is low, magnesium salts. Mm. We, in case we see insufficient response, we could try potassium sparing diuretics like spironolactone, epleronone, or amylariol. And indomethacin is the NSAID could be used. Uh, some cases we could use ACE inhibitors like captopril and enalapril. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to watch our potassium sodium videos I'll be putting on screen. And don't forget to join our channel membership. I'll see you on the next video.